Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here. We're talking the divisional round of the playoffs. And miraculously, Minnesota got through the Saints, and now it's on to San Francisco. The 49ers, consistently the best team in the league, kind of faltered towards the end of the season. But they held on tight enough to get this first round by the number one spot, and the rights to play the worst team currently alive in the playoffs. So, um, Minnesota's dangerous. And this is a very interesting game, because you have the same offensive system on both sides. You have the run-first Shanahan um, West Coast zone running scheme offense. And the 49ers have been very, very successful running it, mostly because of their three-headed monster running back room. Minnesota's been very, very successful running it because of Dalvin Cook. Guy's a beast. Now, he was hurt towards the end of the season, played last week, didn't dominate the snaps like he normally did at his peak during the season, though. So, Alexander Madison got some play to, you know, spell Cook a little bit more. That's still a situation worth monitoring. Now, Jimmy G going up against Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins finally got the playoff big game monkey off his back last week. Jimmy G, well, he's been hurt the first few years of his career in San Francisco, and this is his first shot at the playoffs with them. So, huge question mark with him. The rest of their staffs, um, as far as like the receiving cores go, uh, Diggs was noticeably upset last week, not being as big a part of the offense. Thielen was money. In the big spots last week, we're talking 42-yard pass down the field to clinch the game at the end. Great. Really great. So, with Rudolph pretty much exclusively being a big body red zone target. Um, Diggs and Thielen is the show for receiving threats for Minnesota, and Cousins has done well with that. As long as they can be run first, as long as they can dominate pace of play with the running game, Cousins has been very successful because they have a great defense. And everybody's going to tout the 49ers, great defense. Deservedly so. The 49ers defense is absolutely fantastic. They have one of the more talented front sevens in the league. Quan Alexander's supposed to be coming back. That's going to be real interesting. You add a talent like Quan Alexander back into the mix of this already very dangerous front seven. That could be the thing that carries San Francisco through a Super Bowl victory. It really can be. But people are going to forget that Minnesota's defense is really good. I mean, that defensive front four, front four, made it so Hall of Fame quarterback Drew Brees couldn't do a damn thing all game. He had so much pressure in his face, they were able to still play all kinds of interesting coverages because they only had to rush four down linemen. San Francisco has had issues with injuries to their offensive linemen this season, and they're definitely not performing at peak. I know they came back healthy at the end of the season, but they're still not at peak form. Who knows what's going to happen there? Are the Vikings going to be able to really get after Jimmy G in the way that they were able to get after Drew Brees. I'm not sure they can. I'm not sure they can. I mean, 49ers offensive line is better. They're not in a fully healthy position, but who is at this point in the league, in the season, you know? And with a three-headed monster at running back, they're not exactly wearing these guys out. So, dominating pace of play with the running attack and playing strong defense is exactly the same game plan for both teams. Both teams. And both teams have questions kind of in the same areas. So, very, very interesting to watch. 
you have Kyle Shanahan going up against the team that's coached by one of his former mentors in, um, oh, God, the name escapes me now, Kubiak, Gary Kubiak. Um, he's in charge of the offense, and Zimmer calls him the best hire he's ever made. Rightly so. I mean, Kubiak's won a Super Bowl as a head coach and should be the dude on his own, but his heart can't take it, okay? So I just think that this is a fun, fun game. They're similarly built teams, similarly built coaching staffs and schemes. It's just a matter of who executes the exact same plan better. I personally think that the staff for the 49ers, the the talent that they have amassed on that team is just so far superior that it's going to be a win for them. It's just not going to be anywhere near as easy as people think it's going to be. The Vikings are going to show up, and they know this system. I mean, one of the guys in charge of making it is on their coaching staff. They know this system. It's just a matter of execution, and again, the 49ers have the better staff overall. So in this, we have a spread of seven points in favor of the 49ers. I think that line's about right. But if I got to put my money on somebody, I put them on the Vikings. Um, I think it's going to be a closer game than a lot of people think. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take those points for the Vikings. It's going to be close and... Yeah, they're not going to get beat by a touchdown. It's going to be one of those two to three point victories for the 49ers. It will be a victory for the 49ers, but it'll be close. That's really what I have for this one, guys. I think that it's not any one thing that's going to dominate in this game. I don't think any one player is going to be the sole reason this game swings one way or another. I think it's going to have to be a total team effort because both teams are built so similarly. And it's just going to be a handful of plays here and there, maybe a sack from Nick Bosa, maybe a, a missed tackle leading to a long run for Matt Breda that goes down the field. It's going to be one or two big plays that decide this game. And the 49ers just have more talent on the roster, so they have more opportunities for those big plays. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit up the rest of my videos for more pre-games for the playoffs. We're restarting the Nerdy Sports Fan Weekly. This week's episode goes into coaching changes. So hit that up if you're interested. I'll see you next time.